Dear students, we are happy that you have chosen the Faculty of Agriculture, Engineering and Natural Sciences. This is indeed the most enterprising and innovative faculties to be a part of. It is a blend of agriculture, fishery sciences, engineering and the built environment as well as all natural sciences. You have made the right choice and we are ready to serve you. My name is John Erastus and I'm the faculty manager for the Faculty of Agriculture, Engineering and Natural Sciences and I'm responsible for directing the academic administration in support of the executive dean, the faculty management as well as the schools. The faculty is led by the capable leadership of Associate Professor Math Ndiapo Nikanor, who is the Executive Dean. The faculty consists of four schools, namely School of Agriculture, School of Engineering and the Build Environment, School of Military Sciences, as well as the School of Science. As you commence with your academic tenure, at the university and within the faculty, there will be quite a number of issues or challenges that you will encounter. We thus would like to encourage all our students to frequently, continuously visit our website and our faculty prospectus for detailed programs and detailed information of our respective faculty officers as well as exam officers. We would like to also encourage our students to familiarize themselves with the FIS prospectus, which is a very important tool to yourself and the institution, as that will be guiding your academic uh, journey. Issues pertaining to cancellations of modules, refunds, and so forth. All those details will be found within the FIS prospectus. Issues pertaining to modules, prerequisites, pass requirements, no readmissions, continuous assessment marks are matters that the students will be discussing or engaging with the faculty officers and their respective lecturers. In the event of grievances, we do have structures in place as a university and we encourage that all students follow these structures accordingly. If you are grieved, or if you happen to be aggrieved in any manner, kindly do make use of your student leadership channels, which would be the school representatives, all the way to the SRCs, your HODs, before reaching to the associate deans. We strongly advise that you follow the processes instead of going all the way straight to the top as this might disadvantage you. In conclusion, we would like to encourage all our students to take their studies very seriously, to avoid overstaying at the University of Namibia, as this could also possibly lead to loss of funding from your respective sponsors and damage to career prospects. And this especially is faced with first years Hence, we encourage you all to stay away from unproductive environments or situations that may hinder your academic progression. We wish you well in your academic journey at the University of Namibia and within the faculty. I thank you.